how's it going? It's Lee Halliday, and we are going to cover SEO in React, specifically SEO in Next.js. I've got this uh, beautiful, gorgeous app right now that says Grumpy Llama with a picture of a Grumpy Llama that I found searching in Google the term Grumpy Llama. So you know it's going to be great. And we're going to start off the bat, and we're just going to get a sort of an idea of where our SEO is at right now. So we're going to go into Google um, DevTools, into Audit, and I'm just going to specifically look at accessibility and SEO right now. Um, you'd probably want to worry about all of them on your app, but we're talking about SEO, so we'll just have that running. So if I run an audit on this app, it will come back and tell me what my SEO is like. So I guess a 73 is a passing grade, um, but it's not great and my accessibility is worse. So we can come down and see what it tells us, stuff like we don't have a, a title on our, um, the one that, that shows up here in HTML. We don't have an alt on our image. And the reason I included both accessibility and SEO is because a lot of the things you do to make your website SEO friendly will also make it accessible and vice versa. So let's get into our Next.js app and try to get these both up to 100. So I'll go over to um, VS Code. I've got a bare bones Next.js app that literally just has this one page that's rendering out a div, an h2, an image, and um, the only packages I've installed other than React and React DOM is Next. So it's, it's as bare bones as it comes. And the first thing you wanna do that really has nothing to do with React or Next.js is to just use semantic HTML that is uh, structured correctly. So what we could maybe do is swap out this div for a main. You should only have one uh, main tag per, per document, but this is, represents the main content on your page. And you wouldn't start with an H1. Even if you want to change what size it is, you should do that with CSS, not by changing the semantic meaning of HTML. So this should be an H1 because it represents the, the number one heading on our page. And the next thing you want to do is add an alt. Um, an alt attribute to this image tag. So we can say here, uh, this is a grumpy llama. So just by doing those couple things, we should actually improve our SEO a little bit. We'll see what we come back with. Yeah, we pumped it up from a 70, whatever it was, to an 82. Accessibility is also bumped up to an 82. So we're moving in the right direction. The next thing we're going to do is make sure we have a title element on our page. So title element goes inside of the head, but you'll notice here, I actually don't have a head in, um, I don't have an HTML tag, I don't have a body tag, I don't have any of that stuff in Next.js. It is handled by the framework itself, and later I'll show you how to override that so you can customize stuff um, on that level. But there's another way to do it, sort of when you're customizing content that goes in the head, for each page. So Next.js comes with a component you can import called head from next head. And we can just put this in here like that. And anything we want to go in the head for this page, we can just put inside of this head component. So that means the title. So we can say grumpy llama homepage, whatever you want the title to be, and any other tags you want to put in the, in the head. So if I come back here, you can see now that it actually took it and put the title, it's showing up correctly. So let's get into some SEO specific tags. I, like any uh, good programmer does, um, I searched good SEO tags, like the guide to SEO tags. And it told me there's a few that I should always have. Um, I should have this meta content type. So we will take that and place it in our head. It says we should have a title. Well, we already got that one done. We should have a meta description. So there's a document, this one here, that talks about what a good description is. I'm not gonna worry about that too much today, but we will add a meta with a, a name of description and a content of an image of a grumpy, Lum, whatever your description is, right? It goes in here. So by doing those, we start to get um, the tags needed for 
SEO and Google and your ranking and all that to be happy. The last one that they consider a good tag you must have is the meta viewport. So meta viewport basically helps um, the browser size things correctly when you're on a mobile device. And I guess this helps with SEO. So we'll pop that in as well. They've got an error, forgot the quotes, there we go. So we've got our three meta tags. We can do a self closing on this one. And let's rerun our audit and see what we're getting now. Hopefully we'll start to, woo. So we're actually at 100% SEO, which is pretty cool. I thought we wouldn't be quite there yet. Um, we're still missing the accessibility. So it's saying HTML element does not have a lang attribute. So this is the first time we wanna sort of jump out of something that's page specific and we wanna start changing it for our entire website. And we can actually move a couple of these meta tags like this one and the viewport and the content type one. We can move those out of the individual page and into a global area. Cause you don't wanna to have to repeat that on every page. It's not gonna change. Things like title and description will change on every page. So you should keep it with inside this page component. And anyways, to, to change global HTML tag or to, to do things global, globally in Next.js, we're going to create a file called underscore document.jsx. So this is a special um, file name that Next.js is looking out for that allows you to override what they call the document. So this is changing sort of um, HTML level framework wide uh, content. I'm gonna come and I'll link to this in the description, but they've got a section underneath advanced where you've got your custom document. I am going to copy and paste this because you don't wanna see me try to remember all this stuff. So we've got um, inside of this underscore document, we've got an override called my document. We actually don't need to mess with the get initial props. So what we have here is just returning um, a special HTML component from Next.js, the same head one we've been using on the page level. Now we've just got this on the document level, so it'll be reused on every page. Um, inside our body, we have our main. This is sort of what represents each individual page that we're gonna have in our Next.js app. And then this next script that they use internally, I'm not even quite sure what it does, but it doesn't matter. So if we come into this document, we can actually take out the things that should be global. So we'll change this to an open and a closing tag. We'll pop in that meta tag there. We'll pop in this meta tag here. And that should be good. That should be global now. So we'll just clean up this code back on our page. And the last thing we're going to do is add a lang to the HTML. I've seen sometimes you have some issues when you modify the document in Next.js, but we'll just refresh and hopefully it, hopefully it's good. We can inspect our, uh, yeah, see, you don't have the HTML here. So I think you need to restart your server. Like that. So it actually doesn't like this DOM property, HTTP equiv. Maybe we need to do the special uh, React way of doing it, like that. See if it's happy now. Uh, it looks like it's happy. So because it's in React and not pure HTML, uh, JSX, it actually wants this uh, prop instead. So we fix that. Because I've reset it, I can now see the lang here on the HTML. We've got all of our correct sort of meta tags in here. It probably, it looks like we probably don't even need this one because we have the char set here, but I don't think it's hurting anything. We've got our description. So the last thing to do is why don't we rerun this and see if we've upped our accessibility and our SEO to 100%. Done. So we've gone from sort of starting with no special SEO um, code that we've written with just a few tags being added, we've gotten this page up to 100 SEO and 100 accessibility. And it was as simple as on each page, 
Just making sure we do the title and the meta description. Making sure we use proper uh, s semantic structured um, HTML. So that means h1 comes first, then h2, etc. Adding alt tags to our image. And then we looked at customizing the document, which allows us to, to dive in and change the lang attribute on HTML, but also to put some meta tags that will be used on every page on our website. Now, the last cool thing I wanted to show you is that one of the beauty, um, the beautiful things about Next.js is that it is server side rendered. And that actually helps with SEO a lot because um, Google has two, as far as I understand it, two types of crawlers. One where they just grab the like raw HTML of the page and they do this sooner or more often. And that only really happens correctly when you've got server side rendering. So if we were to curl the website we were looking at, port 3001, you can see that the server produces the full HTML needed for the page. So we could come in here and we could find, here's our, our H1. Uh, we could look for our, our title. It's got to be in here somewhere. Here's our meta description. And anyways, title must be in here. I just blind. Title. There we go. So it's it's outputting all of the HTML needed for uh, Google's crawler that's sort of the, the dumber crawler that doesn't actually render the page. It just sort of grabs the HTML. They also have another crawler that will browse the page more like an actual browser. And I think that's the way of the future. But for now, it's good to support server-side rendering when you're very concerned about getting the best SEO. That's it for today. Hope you like this video. I've got another one coming where I'm going to do the same thing, but inside of Gatsby. And uh, that will be coming out shortly. Have a good day, everyone. Take care. Bye.